product with more than 30% beef since the insecticide can enter the bloodstream through the skin and high concentrations may lead to seizures or other health problems. <laughs> It's a water trough. Suppose he could. Suppose I could invent in my laboratory a special radio that could hear what he might have to say. Yes. That's an idea, all right. <laughs> Yourself. Sure, I love to talk about myself. Exciting, full of adventure. Your incubator up there is a pretty snug place for an old-timer like me, Professor. But I remember, when I was a youngster, I lived in the lung of a nice lady, Aunt Matilda. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, old Cooper. I remember Aunt Matilda. She never seemed very sick, but she did have a cough. Never thought much about it, though. Didn't she have a little nephew? right oh, Edgar was his name. Here, Aunt Matilda used to feed him, taste his food for him to be sure it wasn't too hot. That's how I got into little Ed's lungs. Watch, Professor. Howdy. And once in Edgar's mouth, of course, I made my way into his lungs. Boy had no appetite. 
and he had no pep. Tired all the time. Then one day, we germs broke through a pipe. An artery that passed through Longland. And a great flood of blood poured out. Edgar coughed up some blood. That scared him. At last, he went to a doctor who sent him to a sanatorium. There he rested. Nothing to do but get his body strong. Mm. Sad news for us. Oh, yes. I remember Edgar in the sanatorium. <laughs> was in there. So the man in the white coat gave us a new home. A culture, he called it. Experimenting, I guess. He kept us in an incubator when it was warm, and there we grew. Well, I guess that's the story. And it was the man in the white coat who gave this culture to me. Do you know if Edgar got well, Professor? Oh, yes. He recovered completely. He's happily married and has a boy of his own now. <laughs> That's good. Another Edgar. I may die soon, but my tribe will get him too. We'll get young Edgar. I know you won't. Things have changed, T.B. Edgar Sr. had learned his lesson. So he took young Edgar to the doctor and had a tuberculin test made. Well, what on earth is that? Just a simple skin test. What's to become of all my tribe with that kind of thing going on? Sorry, old timer, but you're almost through. When all young folks get a tuberculin test and those who react positively get an X-ray, TB germs are going to die out. This is a fight to the finish. I see. Last week, it was so bad I couldn't go to the office party. Everyone was going. The girls spent a lot of time talking about it. I was going to get a new blouse to wear with my blue suit. There was a sale the day before the party. I was going after work. And then Miss Henderson asked me to stay and do some extra typing for one of the girls. I know you won't mind, dear. Barbara is so anxious to get off on time. I've just got to get my hair done for the party. Yes. From the source of illness which has no discoverable basis in physical conditions. Through increased understanding of these factors, the individual learns how to stand up for himself. He becomes more and more able to take part with confidence and satisfaction in the world of his fellow men. We had a poll full of naked beauties and the throw bite in the air. Yes, so, like one night, a guy's wife took me to Elvis' bed with big iron gates, and she was begging to suck on my ice cream. Elvis' wife came home that night. When Dennis Wilson came around, he had so many bras that Elvis got afraid because that little girl had his heart. I could have eaten it there in front of him, but he was playing front, and I was... popular with the early voyageurs, trappers, and other pioneer trailblazers, today snowshoeing is a recognized winter sport. There's an exhilarating rhythm all its own to this sport, and its followers in the snow country are legion. First impressions of this scenic majesty are always lasting memories. better served by harassing the country's economy with small but numerous strikes and demonstrations. He scored one of the few major Democratic victories in a Republican landslide year. He decisively defeated incumbent Henry Cabot Lodge in the Massachusetts senatorial race. Thus he dramatically established his political destiny. 
the following year. I beg your pardon. Yes, Doctor. It hurts my eyes. Good morning, nurse. Good morning, Doctor Lent. How the patient's legs? They're progressing very well. Good morning, Kellner. Can you see better today? About the same. Let me see the chart. Good morning, nurse. How are the patients today? Better, Dr. Lance, here on the chart. Please. No signs of temperature. Oh, how's Kellner? He seems to be improving. Splendid. Certainly be pleased when he comes here tomorrow. If the germ has been discovered, there's cause to hope for a cure. Yes, there is hope. But first, let's see. Then war began coming to a thousand quiet countrysides. There was lots of... Hardly more than emotion. And that motion is a dance of death. Soldier has put on one of the very practical two-toed rubber-soled shoes. The U's also have horns, but unlike the Rand, they're light and small. Lambs are born at high elevation in inaccessible rocky places, and are adept at mountain climbing almost from birth. Here is one of their typical that Jap snipers use for tree climbing. According to the men who fought at Mill Bayonet of government by public servant. So the whole country broad, short. Well, what do you think? Do see where you go. What you must do is be aware of where you are, be aware of who you're with, the whole circumstances, your whole environment. Just totally be aware. I know that it can happen and highly desirable with a minimum of functional or organic injury. That's one of the most important things is to realize that it can happen to anybody and not think it's going to happen to the other guy. I know it's present and he raped her. When he needed it, there was a man present, so he raped him. At that point, no matter later, if you look back at it and say, that was a human being, I would... ...should provide smooth and pleasant induction. It's dealing with, at that instant, it was an object. It had no more value back. than that. No. Okay, but a ripoff or I've had more trouble with women. That's the answer, I think, right there. I've had more trouble. Be sufficiently potent to achieve desirable depth of surgery. I think these people yes. here have had the same thing. They've had more trouble with women. I mean, they're the cause of, where you, uh, of your frustration. Uh, well, if you call uh, not, being being able to, not being able to yes, yes. understand and being able to work yes. it out. Not being able to understand women. Right. I was walking along here around about sunset. Relaxation contributes to safer, more effective surgery. It should put on the street. Be aware if anybody's behind you. Uh, don't go in your house if there's some stranger that appears. It was a female mongrel, two years old, weighing 25 pounds. She was pre-anesthetized with a barbiturate. Hello, Missy. We brought something for you and brother. Chewing gum and chocolate bars. And there's a crate of oranges in the ball turret. Ah, there, Grandpa. We'll be seeing you. A glass of that. And there's the base. 400 acres of dispersal areas. The RAF is on hand to welcome us. becomes part of the 8th Air Force. We've reached...